definitely is really an honor to be here. It's exciting to see so many of you all show up, particularly for this portion of it. And uh, I'm, we're ready to go if, we, if you all are ready. from the campus of Clark Atlanta University. I want to welcome everyone to the City of Atlanta's uh, pr program to honor the Atlanta Student Movement and the Committee on Appeal for Human Rights on this day, mo Monday, November the 1st, 2010. I am your MC for the morning. I'm Councilman Michael Julian Bond, uh, Post One at Large, and we're going to open up, the program is going to proceed as follows. I'd like to, we're going to have the presentation of colors from the great Booker T. Washington High School. May we all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Colors, you are dismissed. Every color. Right turn, mark. Forward, mark. You know, when I was in high school, I had the opportunity to date Miss Washington High School. And when I would go up there, they'd throw rocks at me. So I, I don't know what I would have done if they had had rifles like that. So those Bulldogs. You may be seated. Next, we will have a presentation of Lift Every Voice and Sing by the Morehouse College Quartet, Dr. David Moreau, director. They actually will lead you all in singing. Thank you, Doc. Lift every voice and sing to let the heaven ring, ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise, high as the listening skies, let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Please bow your heads and close your eyes. O oh dear omnipotent Lord, benevolent God of Abraham, God of Jacob, and God of Job, by your hands righteous men are blessed and righteous men are cursed. While we stand before you perplexed, wondering why you allowed the upright to suffer, we must simply accept that it is in your perfect plan to bring us closer to you. Although we imperfect beings cannot unravel your mystery, despite all enigmas, we can in all certainty say that you are a loving God. 
So merciful creator, we gather here on this sacred ground where legends were breeded, where legends dwell, and where legends have perished. We are here to remember a dismal time in our history, and we evoke you to take this ceremony in your hands as evidence that this is a ceremony of love. We are here to honor the spirits of Titans who sacrificed to show the nature of your people and in turn, advance your kingdom. This is a blessed day and we pray that all praise given here begin and end with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Next we'll have greetings uh, from the commission to honor the Atlanta Student Movement. Uh, we're going to bring to the microphone the chair, the Honorable Carolyn Long Banks. Good morning. As a person who has been in this, involved in this movement for over 50 some odd years, and as a person who has sat on the Atlanta City Council as the first black woman uh, for about 17, 18 years, and as a person who honors all of you who are members of our families who sacrificed in order for us to get to this place, I bring you greetings from the city of Atlanta. Our movement, in fact, was a movement of families. And we have, as I look out, many family members, uh, those uh, people who participated. And if I may have the pleasure, I'd like for my family to please stand. We have my brother who integrated uh, Georgia Tech University a year after our movement started, Graphic Long Jr. And his son is here, who's a state representative. Uh, and my sister, who was along with us, was jailed. And their grandchildren uh, are here, as well as uh, those members of the Bond family. Would you please stand? <laughs> we have Phyllis, Cookie, Skylar, uh, Jamesy, Alice, and Linda. <laughs> Uh, they are, the younger generations are carrying on where we left off. There are other family members of those who participated who are still here and very, very active. Uh, if there are other family members, would you please stand? If not, I'd like to uh, have all the elected officials who are here to please stand and be recognized. Keisha, who is my, my baby. Where is she? She is behind me. Uh, Ralph, uh, again, my nephew, uh, Rashad, uh, Rashad, I missed you, where are you? Oh, there you are. Uh, CT is the, uh, Martin is the dean of the council, and had it not been for him, we would not be where we are today, I understand. And Aaron Watson, and a real child of the movement, uh, Kwanzaa Hall, whose uh, father uh, was the baby at the time of our movement, is on the city council, and Chief George Turner. There you are. Congratulations. <laughs> are there any Cleta? Oh, that's my mentee. <laughs> Cleta and I go a long way back. Uh, when my father first moved to this area, he was the leader of the West End area. And now she has assumed responsibility for that area and has had probably about 25, 30 people running against her and never lost the race. All right. And thank you very much for letting me come before you to say hello to you and uh, to those of us who are uh, have been in office. We are very, very proud to have served. And those of you who are in office, we are very, very proud that you are serving. Thank you. <coughs> Ivory. Oh. oh, they have speaking parts, so they'll be up here in a minute. <laughs> and my other baby, Keisha, is here. Uh, we are committee members of the um, 
our student movement. Would you all st please stand the commission members? <laughs> Michael made a special effort in forming the commission to have uh, 22 different institutions rather than people represented. And they not only represent themselves, but they also represent the organizations that they serve. And we are very, very pleased to announce that we not only, this is just one of many things that we're going to be doing. Um, we're gonna surprise you uh, with the other things that we will be doing in this general area sometimes in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. And now we will hear from the president of Morris Brown College, Dr. Stanley Pritchard. Dr. Pritchard. Good morning. Good morning. With protocol having been established, let me take this opportunity to say good morning to all of you and thanks for allowing us to be a part of this great occasion this morning. As president of the historic Morris Brown College, I greet you on behalf of the Board of Trustees, the administration, faculty, staff, alumni, students, parents, and friends of our institution. We are thankful for the opportunity to participate in this significant historical ceremony to solidify all the work that has been done by the Commission for the Appeal for Human Rights through the Atlanta Student Movement. We acknowledge and pay tribute to the distinctive strategic st student action, which opened the hearts and minds of America and our world to a new understanding of the limitations of the evils of prejudice. A distinctive student action that paved the way for a miraculous bonding of human effort and personal sacrifice, which further opened new avenues to the development of an indomitable spirit that refused to accept the visible and non-visible barriers of race color and creed, which for too long had limited the choice of true freedom for all citizens of our country. Therefore, as we join in this celebratory occasion, we do so with a great sense of pride and thanksgiving for the efforts of all of the students and other citizens who participated in such heroic action, which led to new opportunity for all. Especially, I lift up the participation of the Marsh Brown College students who participated in the development and execution of the student movement strategies. Meetings took place on Marsh Brown College, which served as a launching pad for the strategic aggressive moves of the city and activity in downtown Atlanta, Georgia. That list of students included two sisters, honor roll students, one of whom made the ultimate sacrifice and is no longer with us, Ruby Dari Smith, and her sister, who is with us this morning, Dr. Mary Ann Smith Booker, a 2010 honorary degree recipient at Marsh Brown College and a part of the commission. Finally, we applaud the efforts of all of the students of the Atlanta University Center and other members of our community who participated and did not allow a traditional collegiate rivalry to interfere with the development and execution of their collective efforts toward achievement of a greater cause, the cause to the right to human dignity for all. Thank you. Next, we will hear from Dr. Weldon Jackson, Provost and Senior Vice President of Academic Affairs at Morehouse College. Thank you and good morning. And Michael, I'll try to uh, keep my time short so that we can prepare for the arrival of Mayor. Please let me be here on behalf of Dr. Robert Michael Franklin, President of Morehouse College and the college community at large, to share in this renaming ceremony. It was just several months ago that we celebrated the 50th anniversary of the Atlanta University Center Student March that kicked off the Atlanta student movement. Morehouse students, particularly Johnny Parham, class of 1958, and Monty King, class of 1969, played a leadership role in the success of the march, the march that ultimately gave rise to the student sit-in protests against racism throughout the South. And ultimately, it was the impetus to the organization of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, one of the most renowned student organizations to come out of the civil rights era. 
So Morehouse is proud to stand here today to bear witness to the renaming of Fair Street, the cradle of the movement, to Atlanta Student Movement Boulevard. This piece of history was transformative in our community, and we are proud to celebrate the efforts of our students and others around the country to secure civil rights. From today forward, when we walk this street, we will do so with renewed respect for what it means to the Atlanta University Center community and to the history of the struggle for freedom. Morehouse remains grateful to the Atlanta University Center students who demonstrated their courage and activism then and remain committed to justice and fair treatment now. And we're grateful to Mayor Reed and the Atlanta City Council for their favorable response to the legislation that made today possible. Your leadership is invaluable to this city and to the Atlanta University Center community. We also share our gratitude with many individuals who worked diligently and consistently to support this commemorative effort. Lest our feet stray from the places, our God, where we met thee, from Fair Street to Atlanta Student Movement Boulevard. Thank you and welcome. We have the luckiest city council member because he represents the greatest district in the city, District 3, the Honorable Ivory Lee Young, Jr. Mike, you're still my favorite council member <laughs> of, all, of all council members. I bring you greetings on behalf of Atlanta City Council District 3. And I bring you greetings on behalf of this tremendous institution we call the Atlanta University Center, the consortium that is the largest of, of all African-American institutions of higher learning. Um, to, the, to the students of old, those matriarchs and patriarchs of one movement, and to the sons and daughters of, that very, of, the, of those same matriarchs and patriarchs, I, I greet you as well. I, I specifically want to thank the, the students, uh, both today and yesterday. Uh, you know, when you walk, having um, matriculated from Hampton University, when you walk the grounds of a historically black college, you walk in the footsteps of greatness. Um, you walk in the pathways that were created by the likes of Booker T. Washington, a graduate of Hampton University. But when you walk this campus, you have the likes of modern day heroes, like that of Dr. Jolly, former president of Morris Brown College, and Dr. Thomas Cole, um, uh, not only former president of this great institution, CAU Clark Atlanta University, but also a, a great a member of the, the greatest fraternity of all, <laughs> Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. But um, you can't be anything but humble looking the view that I have, if you, if you go from one road to the next, I see a library bigger than Woodruff, volumes and volumes of history right before us. And so I, I just give thanks for the paths that you laid out for the offspring, like the Michael Julian Bond and so many others, Keisha and, and Kwanzaa, and so many others that have taken up the mantle of leadership that know, as we all know, that the, the work isn't over, folks. The work isn't over. And so to the student movement to which we honor, uh, we will continue to hold your legacy high. And um, I just thank you, Michael, for allowing me to be a part of this. And um, I better sit down because I get pretty long-winded. God bless you all. Thank you, Council Member Young. Next, we are going to bring to the microphone uh, Districts 3 and 4 both share the Atlanta University Center. It is my honor to bring up the hardest working woman at City Hall, the Honorable Pleta Winslow. And good morning, everyone. Good morning. I really feel like a small grain of sand among, among the giants that are here today. Uh, and I want to thank Councilmember Bond for making it possible yes. because this is a learning lesson for us on the City Council. Um, 
When I was a child, uh, my mother, who is originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, and, and I was born in Rockford, Illinois, in the Midwest. But as a child, when there were marches going on here in the South, she would make me sit down. She said, come sit down. You need to see this. You need to know about this history that's happening today. Uh, and little did I know that I was going to end up coming to Atlanta, Georgia, coming to AU, Atlanta University School of Social Work. And when I got here, we all remember Trevor Arnett, that used to be the library. And our instructors always told us, you will know about Atlanta history. So in terms of the readings that we had to do for class, we also had to read about Atlanta history. So I read about A.T. Walden back in the 30s, who was a big time attorney, big time Republican. And he, along with a lot of other people, met in the back rooms with those persons who were running.